we stayed a night at a motel two nights and i found i found a snake i literally was about to like sit down at a desk and work on my computer and right before i took my shoes off i noticed there was like some cockroaches and some different bugs on the floor and i'm like oh that's kind of nasty cockroaches yeah well okay there was a worm and then there was a roly poly maybe yeah there wasn't a cockroach (sighs) but i looked over and that's when i saw the snake i literally thought it was fake it wasn't it wasn't a massive one like it was probably the picture made it look huge it was probably two feet long that's huge but pretty skinny and i don't know anything about snakes i don't know which ones are venomous i don't know which ones will bite you but it started moving and i was like oh that's not like a fake snake that someone placed here as a joke this is a real freaking snake so so i like debated on what to do i was like do i call the front desk do i try to kill it do i try to move it like how do i do this i I was about to get a plastic cup to put over the snake and to like try to put a piece of paper under it that way i could like hold it in the cup and then like throw it outside it would not fit in a plastic cup but then i was like wait a second what if it like tried to bite my hand while i'm putting it in this cup so then i went back to the drawing board and i was like okay i could just roll up our kids diaper change pad you know they're like the green diaper change that's pad. that's what you used and i was like if i just roll this up i can turn it into like a long rod which then i could like shuffle the snake over and push it out the door so i, I like started whacking the floor in front of it so it would get scared and like move and then i got it over to the door and shoved it out and like whisked it away with um with with the diaper change pad do you have a pho- you clearly don't have a phobia of snakes uh i might develop one after that (laughs) (laughs) um we were staying in separate rooms and thank god we were because if the snake was in my room i don't think i would have slept all night (laughs) just knowing that he was in your room i had a hard time but yeah we had to stay in separate rooms so the babies could be in separate rooms because if one of them woke up then both of them would have woken up and it would just been too much well i started to freak out because when i saw the snake griffin was still crying in his pack and play and i was like oh my gosh did another snake get inside the pack and play that would be horrifying so so i rushed over got griffin out and i like checked thoroughly in the pack and play to make sure there wasn't a snake in the pack and play and there wasn't so that that was great i've i've never in my life heard of a snake being inside a motel room ever have you i mean i'm sure it has happened but i've never experienced that the picture is crazy we'll have to like share the picture somewhere for you guys to see because this thing was it was a snake honestly that was was probably (laughs) a sign for like things to come. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.